today we're at uh, Quasar Automation and we're looking at the latest uh, robotic application that's been developed to basically add things to uh, irregular objects to uh, embellish them in some way, shape or form. Mitsubishi arranged a seminar around 12 months ago uh, to look at not just automation but robotics and, uh, and other products uh, for various industries and uh, we invited uh, Bob Hinchcliffe from Quasar Automation down to our offices um, so they could see some of our latest products. What really caught my attention was the new Foodsafe uh, Scarra robot which filled a particular niche which we've been looking to put an application into for quite some time so it was very very interesting for us to look at that with an application in mind and I thought that was um, a real uh, benefit for the day. We are quite a niche uh, company. We operate almost exclusively within the food processing industry. Over the years we've developed lots of quite interesting and novel pieces of machinery. Probably over the last four or five years we realised that the use of robotics within our type of equipment was going to be very, very useful for us. So what we're really looking to do is, is to scan an object which may have a variable topography, something that's coming in a regular form off a production line or exists naturally, and we're, we're looking to embellish it, apply some kind of uh, either glue or icing or any kind of additional product on top of it. This is probably the uh, trickiest task we've managed to date, I would say. And it really boils uh, down to replicating human uh, hand-eye coordination, effectively. So where uh, people naturally take into account changes in a product, defects in a product, it, this will do the same uh, kind of application. It's particularly designed with the food market, uh, food manufacturing applications in mind. What the system does is it captures the 3D surface of the product. It then maps the 2D onto the 3D surface, which will take around about one second. That data will then be transmitted to the robot. The robot then will um, take the tool at the end, on the end effector and then trace out a predetermined shape onto that surface. What we've been able to do is now to give a 3D mapping of a surface that surface can change from product to product, so being able to capture that image and process it very, very quickly has been a key element to uh, this solution. When it is production ready and introduced into factories, it could be used for applying decorative finishes onto irregular shaped products. Uh, for example, things like putting text onto novelty products written in something, say, like icing or that type of product. But we've, we found the, in dealing with Mitsubishi, that they bent over backwards to help us to get the final machine together. They realised the opportunity which is available, uh, not just in the food industry, but in many other industries as well. The objective from their point of view was to give us the maximum support possible to reach the objective. Yeah, this has been an extremely interesting project and we are always up for this kind of challenge. We're always up for uh, looking for innovative ways in which we can use our products and uh, develop them further.